Okay, hi traders, here's a new video. First of all, the risk warning, your invested capital may be at risk. Don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose. And this video is not investment advice. So this video is, um, and yes, is it weekend? Yes, and weekend means it's time for trade school, high frequency trading explanation and example videos. Yes, and to see assets are closed. And so uh, it's time today. And I would say the weekend is dedicated to study and uh, to uh, improve your techniques. And uh, that is the reason why I'm doing on the weekend also this kind of trade school videos, yes, to explain those trades which I have done, all my trades and all those things which I'm doing here and all my videos and uh, we have the, I have done already more than 400, 450 videos are uh, based on those things which I have explained in my ebook. So get this ebook, it's for free, you'll find the link in the description. This ebook contains the most important candlestick pattern, chart pattern and binary option, turbo trading concepts, market condition, trend identification, rejection and candlestick math and a lot of more concepts which can be applied to any kind of time frame and any kind of financial instruments. Yes, I have fixed some uh, pages. Today we have the 11, yes. And today I will release the sixth, the sixth edition of this ebook. Yes, uh, you see we have already 100 pages done here. Yes, and uh, I will uh, try to release it uh, today or this weekend. I don't know when uh, it depends for how much time I have. And yes, and uh, so we have already uh, got now the sixth edition uh, nearly ready. So okay, that was it already. So let me uh, um, let me uh, do this kind of video. Don't waste our time. Um, and so I will start immediately to explain uh, this kind of trades which I'm going. But get this ebook. Yes, it's important that you study those concepts. You know, I'm doing this now uh, for almost seven months. Yes, and. Uh, and uh, I can only recommend to anybody who wants to learn how to trade to get this ebook and to study those of my videos. Yes, uh, um, uh, that is uh, because I get almost every time uh, questions asked. Yes, uh, and I uh, am asking myself, um, or oh, you want to learn it or not? That is your decision. So, okay, let me see. Uh, let me uh, let me start here. So here we are. We have this video. So I will start this video, and then uh, when uh, there is something important, I will uh, discuss it. But first of all, we need to understand the trend and the market condition. Yes, you see here in this kind of scenario, you see here uh, how how. Uh, the, uh, how the market is going up, down, up, down. It's looking like a little bit like a ranging market. Here we would have a breakout of this area. Yes, here was a breakout of this area. You see, this was a nice area here. But because we are here in ranging, it if we would have ha had a uh, uptrend here, it would be uh, the situation to do a pullback. Yes, and so price would have been gone up. Yes, but because we have ranging market, yes, it's going down. So in this case, the uptrend would be nearly over. Yes, but uh, you, you will see what will happen here. So I will uh, uh, play here, and then when there is something what's important, yes. Uh, I would uh, stop and then I will explain. So now I'm uh, doing here some Fibonacci level. Yes, and I'm applying the Fibonacci level. So look at this. How to apply Fibonacci level? I get almost the questions how to apply the Fibonacci level and I can explain you how. Because you will see now two things. Yes, first of all, here is the 100 and here is the 0. I'm doing the Fibonacci level from swing low to swing high. Then I watch how this Fibonacci level is fitting. I, I have seen immediately the 61.8 Fibonacci level. Yes, but because the candle was still running, yes, but it was clear uh, to get into the new candle here. You see uh, they are missing 11 seconds. I have decided after I have drawn it. You could also apply the Fibonacci level from here. Yes, to here. Yes, so you would get here the 100. Yes, and here it would be maybe the 161.8 Fibonacci level. Yes, uh, that is how you can apply it where you want. Important is that you have a swing. Yes, here is swing low and here is swing high. Here, I would not, on this swing, I would not 
apply Fibonacci on this swing because it's a running swing, yes, and if applying it here, it it, it um, will get, give you only wrong results, yes. So you have to have a complete swing to use the Fibonacci level, okay. So that is what I want to uh, show you. Um, I want to, to uh, record here, to memorize this level here. This level is the 61.8 Fibonacci level and here is the 50% and now watch what I'm doing here. So I check if it fits, yes, and it uh, and I have understood that we are already too deep. So I turn it around, yes. Now I'm applying the same Fibonacci level, yes. Let me stop it. So and I tell you, so I have turned the Fibonacci level around, yes, on the Kurt Perkis time. So let me uh, show you this. Here where we had, what's happening here? What is this? What is going on here? Let me see. Okay, let me. What was this? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, let me show you this here. Look, look here. Uh, that was the point where we had the 61.8 Fibonacci level. You, you see, you can turn it around like you want. Yes, because this and the 50% is still here. We got here. A retracement of this 50%, but we closed, and that is what I have explained in the video about support and resistance. We closed here uh, below this kind of area here, below those EMAs and below this Fibonacci level, yes, the 50% Fibonacci level. And uh, for this reason, because we are here in ranging, yes, I have done here a put, yes, because I was expecting that price and because price got pushed above, yes, that is what I t I'm telling you always um, when I'm uh, talking about rejection, the movement upwards to get a better entry point and then on the downward move, yes, you get already, you have already the good entry point and so you have the margin of safety to enter into it. So, but important what I want to show you is you can turn around the Fibonacci like you want. Important is that you have this swing low and this swing high. You have a good swing low and a good swing high to understand yes what's going on and what kind of a uh, 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 level will work yes and so okay so and also here on the 50 level we have this kind look at this this kind of area this is what I, I uh, would um, tell you what is the zone look at this this is a zone where the level would the uh, support and resistance level would work out so this is the zone you see one two three weeks all on the same high another week here yes so that is the zone from this 50% uh, level yes to this level there, that is the zone in which we uh, act and this candle here broke through the zone, yes, we got here uh, this kind of wick, but the trend is still down, yes, we have here also a nice dark cloud cover and after this dark cloud, nice downtrend, yes, and then here also a break through the 61.8 Fibonacci level on this side, which is nothing else than the 38.2 Fibonacci level, so, okay. I have done this put here because I was expecting that price will continue to go down. We have this kind of resistance which is protecting uh, our bet. And we have also the EMAs which are um, mostly flat. What is normal if you have a ranging market. Okay, you see here a nice rejection here, reversal at the Bollinger Band, which is also, and here also, which is also a sign that we have ranging market. Yes, if we would have uh, been in trending market, this reversal, rejection, re reversal would not happen at the Bollinger Band then it, the trend would continue to go in at least for a few candles up, yes, till it reverse. That is also what I have explained so often. So, okay, you see we get here flat and that is ranging market. So, I will do play again. So, we will see what's happening and if there is something what I have to explain, I will stop the video. So, we are going down. So, and you see the distance between the 100 EMA, which is the red one, and the 200 EMA, which is the purple one. Yes, you see the difference, the distance between them. All other are together, but that, that two are really, really far away. And the 100 EMA is getting in confluence with the 38.2 Fibonacci level, which is nothing else than the 61.8, if I would turn it around, yes. So, okay, look, this is 
this uh, uh, shooting down now. Yes, and where does this shooting down candle? Yes, is stopping. Yes, and this candle stops exactly so. It's stopping exactly on the 100 EMA, which is in confluence with the 38.2, which is nothing else than the 61.8 if you would turn it around. Yes, that is what you have now to imagine. This 38.2 is nothing else than the 60.8. Eight. And if you have watched the uh, deep explanation video about Fibonacci level, the 60.18, yes, uh, the 60.8, uh, 61.8 Fibonacci level is mostly a reversal Fibonacci level. Yes, that is what I know. Yes, that is what I have explained to you in the deep explanation video about Fibonacci level, where I have drawn them. And that is the reason why I enter now. And that I would do almost always because also I will show you this also because the distance has yes, the distance between so the distance between the 100 EMA and the 200 EMA yes here is the 200 EMA yes and here we have the 100 EMA the distance is so far away yes that this is a clear fake break out here yes you see also here the small wick below yes and this flat 100 EMA, yes, that, uh, um, yes, and, uh, and that 61.8 in confluence with 100 EMA, which is a clear signal that in, in almost in ranging market, not in trending market, but in ranging market, when if the overall trend is ranging, would be um, uh, reversal, yes, and uh, that is what I have understood here, and in this case also, you see, that is a nice, Bot sure shot one and bot sure shot five in confluence. Yes, bot sure shot eins is based on EMA. That means the uh, fake breakout of the EMA and the bot sure shot five is the fake breakout of the uh, Fibonacci level. In this case, the 61.8 Fibonacci level. Yes, because the distance you have to, uh, to, you do have to eliminate this kind of line here. Yes, this kind you should eliminate in your mind. Then you have here the space. Which you see, which would is the same space like this to this. Yes, you see here this to this. This is the 100 level. This is the 61.8, and this level is the same high like this one. If you if you would remove this this line here in between, okay, that is what uh, I understood here. That this would that is why I understood here that this would be a fake breakout. Also, if all EMAs are pointing down, yes, the 20, 20 EMA and so on, yes, but this uh, 20 EMA, so this uh, pointing down EMA is only this, why? Because this is down, 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 that are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 candles which are going down, yes, and if you go back, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. If you get 20 candles back, obviously that the 20 EMA is pointing down. Yes, because we have here mostly red candles, yes, and only a few green candles, yes, and that is the reason why the 20, and that is what the lagging indicator is. The chain, okay, so, okay, that was this. Let me do play so you can see what I'm doing here. I understood immediately, yes, on the downward movement, I'm entering uh, to get a better entry point below the 61.8 Fibonacci level, which is this one, yes. You have to imagine 100 minus, minus 38.2, you have 61.8, yes, and that is what's about. This is a 61.8, this is almost a reversal, a reversal of Fibonacci level, yes, um, really, really reliable. And if you had uh, this kind of uh, confluence, that do not have only the Fibonacci level there, and you have also the EMA there, yes, then you can expect that this is really a fake breakout. But you have to understand to let the bot sure shot one and bot sure shot five working. Yes, you can watch them on under the high probability trading setups playlist. Yes, then you have 
um, you have to have the distance, and I have explained this, the distance between, so, uh, the distance between uh, the uh, EMAs, yes, that is important. Here in this kind of area, if you get here a fake breakout of the 50 EMA with the 20 EMA so close, don't do this trade, yes. Uh, also, if you have a fake breakout like this here on the 20, uh, 200 EMA close, if the 200 EMA would be here close to this, yes, don't do this trade, yes, because it's more probably that price will go through this, like, yes, and uh, that is, you have to, you need to have the distance to distinguish a fake breakout from a non-fake breakout. So, and then, after this, because the 61.8 Fibonacci level and this candle is going green, yes, and it's starting to going up instead of going down, I understood that we are getting here in a reversal, and uh, maybe also in a fake breakout here of the 50 EMA, yes, and uh, that's the reason, and in a continuation, yes, here in a uh, reversal in this deck, yes, uh, and that is the reason why I probably have done a call, yes, yes. On the movement downwards, yes, I want to enter below the closing price of the previous candle, yes, to get a margin of safety. I got the question about um, how can I um, uh, get this together, uh, the rejection plus the best possible entry point. Yes, and that is only possible if you know the direction in which kind of uh, um, direction market will move and, and uh, then to choose the best possible entry point, yes, uh, to um, uh, means that you enter mostly below or above the closing price of the previous candle. That is everything what you should do. You should only try to close, uh, to enter into the, candle, in the next candle below or above the next candle, depending on the direction, of the opposite direction of this kind of, um, of this kind of, um, uh, direction, yes, where, um, how can I explain this? Uh, in the opposite direction, in what you expect that the market will go. Yes, that is what's about. And uh, that is this what you should uh, understand, yes, to get the best possible entry point. So, okay. You see here, so now the downtrend will continue, yes. And maybe we are going again here against the uh, 61.8 because it's a strong level, yes. And uh, maybe they will form then some kind of uh, what I would expect in this kind of scenario because we are not getting higher, that here will form something like a double a bottom, yes, but this should be also observed. And if we are going to break through the 61.8 Fibonacci level here, yes, I would do a continuation trade, yes, then uh, it would be clear that price would go down further. So, okay, that was this trade school video, yes. Uh, I think it was um, uh, nice to have also some kind of Fibonacci explaining, yes, because I got a lot of questions about Fibonacci all the time. But uh, uh, if you uh, handle the Fibonacci level, you will fast understand that there is uh, that it's not so complicated as, is, as it looks. Also, the drawing of the Fibonacci level is almost not complicated. You have seen you can draw this from the swing low to the swing high or from the swing high to the swing low and there's no problem. Important is that you know those kind of levels, the 38.2 Fibonacci level and the 61.8, which are the major reversal um, reversal um, Fibonacci levels and all Fibonacci levels in between are always also um, um, uh, usable like support and resistance, yes, but I would pre prefer uh, often, depending how they break, uh, will be broken, yes, to do continuations on that. So I would say that was it. If you liked this video, do a like. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And if you have something to say, drop me a line in the comment section. So I would say stay safe and bye-bye.